how we, you know, I mean, we, we, we just, uh, let's, we, the Bears are what we thought they were. We, we, they're what we thought they were. We played them in preseason. Who the hell picks a third game in preseason? Like football. We played them in the third game. Everybody played three quarters. The Bears are who we thought they were. And that's why we took the damn field. Now, if you want to crown them, then crown them. Hey guys, how is it going? Hope all of you guys are having a great morning. Me personally, it's sort of disgusting and cloudy and raining and just not a very good day outside today, but I got a brand new champion hoodie on. This thing is fire. I bought it in yesterday's video, and unfortunately yesterday's video didn't get to everyone's subscription boxes, so if you guys haven't checked that out and you want to do that, we got probably the best Nike outlet steal I've ever had in my life. I'll leave a button up there somewhere if you guys want to check that out once the video is done. And not only do we have a new champion hoodie, but we have a brand new pair of kicks today. Never worn these before. Undead stocking them on a rainy day. Savage, I know. Speaking of wearing my kicks, you guys always ask, where are the weekly sneak rotations? Don't worry, guys. All you guys that are feeling real already know I put them up on snups every single week. I've taken a little bit of a hiatus because I was traveling and wearing the same pair of shoes every day, but it is back in full force. Snups, of course, is one of my favorite apps, and it is actually sponsoring today's video, so definitely go check it out. I post my weekly sneak rotation. Tons of other people post their outfits and other sneaker collections and all of that good stuff. I'm gonna leave a link to download right there in the description. You guys should definitely go check it out. Today's video is very much gonna be a two-parter. I'm free right now that I got some awesome stuff that I just need to do behind the scenes later today, which isn't gonna be on camera. And then tonight, we're gonna to go pick up something awesome. But right now, we have this package right here. I'm assuming by the tape, I'm gonna take a wild guess that it's from Champ Sports. I'm not 100% sure. I'd be willing to put some money on it, though. You guys already know, I don't unbox things in my room. I go to the middle of downtown and find a bench to unbox things on because it's not really about what you're unboxing. It's about where you're unboxing it. So, as I said, this is from Champ Sports. As always, Champ Sports, thank you. I do appreciate you. I have no idea what this is. This is like really freaking heavy. So it could be like a pair of shoes boxed in cement or something like that. I'm honestly not too sure. I don't know where I put the Mike's Handy Dandy Hard Lemonade Key. I haven't seen it in months. I'm a little bit sad about that because that's what we used to unbox everything with if you guys are OGs on the channel. This is just not an ideal place to be unboxing something right now. It's soaking wet. There's water dripping through the holes in the table. Getting my shoes soaked, getting my legs soaked. This box is really, really fan. Ooh, check out this box. Limited edition. That's pretty exciting. Let's see what they gave me here. So Champ Sports loves to send me Timberlands. This is probably their fourth pair of Timberlands that they've sent me or thereabouts. Woo. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh my goodness, these things are amazing. Look at these now. I don't want to get these wet. I know they're waterproof, but I don't want to get these wet, so we're going to keep this short and sweet. Look at how beautiful these things are. I really apologize for the wind. It just got like a whole bunch more windy outside right now, but here's what they look like. You got gold right there. That is looking Fuego Flame Fire City. You got this really nice suede leg. Let me emphasize the quality of Timberlands. If you have never owned a pair of Timberlands, you definitely need to go check them out. I was rocking Timberlands yesterday, the classic wheat colorway. That is the one you need to go for if you don't own a pair. But these ones are crazy nice as well if you're looking to add on to your Timberland collection. These things are, I love how they did those leather laces. They could have gone with red laces and that would have been cool, but this provides just a little bit of extra contrast. And there's perforations on this part right here, which I think is pretty cool as well. Black bottom on these. These are really, really nice. So these probably retail for around $180. I think that's what Timberlands are. It's expensive, don't get me wrong, that is a lot of money, but the quality and the amount of time these are going to last you. My Wheat Timberlands, I've owned for four years now, or maybe three years. Either way, they still look brand new. I still wear them all the time. I still get tons of compliments off of them, and the quality is great. They're gonna be another 10 years from now. I'm still gonna be able to wear them. So Timberlands are never gonna go out of style. It's just one of those shoes. Some people say they're out of style now. I don't know who those people are, but there's like Jordan 1s, Converse All-Stars. Timberlands, Adidas Superstars, Stan Smith, stuff like that that never goes out of style. Let me know what you think of these guys though. Are they hot? Are they not? Are they trash? Are they bash? Are they slash? I don't even know what 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 am I what am I even saying? And you know, I'm just gonna leave them on the bench here to be honest. I don't deserve to keep these after what I've said. If you guys live in Winnipeg, come get them. They're sitting on the bench. I'm just kidding, I'm not leaving them on the bench. These things are freaking amazing. I'm taking these home with me and I'm never letting them go. I love you. As I was saying though guys, I do have a whole bunch of behind the scenes stuff that I need to do this afternoon. But stay tuned because we got the craziest part of the video yet coming so far. My first ever Supreme pickup. I'll get back to you guys in a few hours. So until then. This is what's great about sports. This is what the greatest thing about sports is. You play.
play to win the game. No, you play to win the game. You don't play to just play it. You play to win. And I don't care if you don't have any wins. You go play to win. Okay, now it is the best part of the day. The part I've been waiting for all freaking, oh, this looks so good, guys. We are going to pick up my first ever Supreme pickup ever. I was looking around and this guy that does a lot of thrifting and reselling and finding stuff on eBay and just hyped clothes and stuff in Winnipeg had a Supreme item that I really, really, really wanted to get and he was selling it for a good price. I mean, it was only $240 and I talked him down, we got him at a better price and then he messaged me and he's like, hey Tom, what's up, it's Jamie. I'm the guy selling. What are the odds that someone I know and have filmed videos with and that I play basketball with is selling one of the dopest Supreme items and my first Supreme pickup ever. I am so excited right now. This thing is dope. Like it's not even the fact that it's Supreme that makes it cool. It's the fact that you guys are gonna think I'm cool that makes it cool. Because if there's one thing we all know, you don't need to be cool to be cool. You just need Supreme. How you doing? What's going on, man? Good, How good. Much? How you been? Good. Fuck, how's things been? Really, really good. Here, you need to check it out, man. Let's see. Oh, that looks awesome. Got it from the ground. It's a large. That's sweet. So. That's perfect, dude. Yeah, man. That's Thank awesome. you so much. No worries, That's bro. Awesome. Uh, London, December 2nd. Again. And Berlin, December 9th. That's crazy. So that's going to be really cool. Okay, see you around, man. Yeah. Okay, okay, take, take it easy. Take it easy. Success guys, we got it. Shout out Jamie for the good price. I am like this thing is this is a hefty material. Like this is a good material piece of this is no HM clothing is what I'm trying to say, but it is pitch black outside right now. It gets dark so early in Winnipeg. I want to give this thing the look that it deserves. So we're gonna wake up first thing tomorrow morning and give you guys a proper look of this. All right, morning it is, and I, I was excited. I could barely even sleep, to tell you the truth, because I wanted to show you guys this so bad. So I woke up super early to show you this, my first ever Supreme pickup. So if you guys want me to get more Supreme first off, let me know down in the comment section below, because I'm interested in some of their pieces, like some of them are just pure ugly, but some of them are really cool as well. I have another Supreme thing coming in soon too. I, I'm not buying it because it's hyped, I'm buying it because some of it is genuinely cool, but very expensive. So once in a while, I feel like I could treat myself to it because I do think some of it is cool. Like this is freaking amazing. So let's not even waste any more time on this. Take a guess what it is down in the comment section below in three, two, one. Hopefully you've guessed because I'm going to pull it out right now. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh my goodness. Supreme champion. Do you realize that this was actually manufactured for me? Sure, this was made before I was into Champion stuff, before I even knew where to buy Champion, probably before I even knew when Supreme released their stuff. I didn't know they came out on Thursdays back when this came out. This was made for me though. This was literally made for me. So this is a size large. It looks a little small though. It smells, smells wonderful. It smells like someone just put a bounce dryer sheet in this and threw it in the washing machine. This. Ooh, that smells so good. This is a used item, so it's not brand new, but it is in like freaking perfect condition. I went all over this. There's no scrapes, there's no stains, there's no frays. All the stitching is beautiful on this. So this is it right here. It's a size large. This is a size large. I think this fits a little bit smaller. You know, we're gonna try this on right now. I love the way this looks. Like it just, it gives me that sort of, oh yeah, this is a little, this is a little smaller, like it still fits. By no means is it too small for me to wear, but it is smaller than the large that I'm used to in Champion. I don't know why it's so much smaller. Maybe it's because it's a little bit a little bit older. They, they weren't going for like the boxy oversized fit, but this still fits completely fine. It's just a little bit more snug. So if I get any more swole, I don't think I'll be able to fit this, but I love like the striping here and the stripes and the laces. It reminds me of like a hockey jersey or a hockey sweater. And me being from Canada, hockey is huge around here. So now I can fit in and girls are finally gonna talk to me because they think I play hockey. That was the main reason I bought this because women do not, it just, they, they don't come up and talk to me because I don't play hockey. I don't even look like I play hockey. And that's basically the only way to get girls in Canada is to play hockey. So I got this, which is good now. They're gonna be like, ooh, you play hockey. Do you play for the Winnipeg Jets? And I'm gonna be like, I'm not gonna brag, but I do play for the Winnipeg Jets. I mean, everyone wears a helmet in hockey, right? So you can't even tell who they are. I could tell people I play for the Winnipeg Jets. Half of them would probably believe me, especially if they're inebriated. So that's the plan with this. Let me know what you think. Basically, no Supreme branding anywhere at all, except for right here on the hood. So you can't tell it's Supreme unless I've got my hood up and I'm about to rob you or something. That's pretty much it for today, though. I don't know why I am so hyper today. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. And I'll see you guys 
tomorrow. This is what's great about sport. This is what the greatest thing about sports is. You play to win the game. Hello? You play to win the game. You don't play to just play it. That's the great thing about sport. You play to win. And I don't care if you don't have any wins. You go play to win. When you start telling me it doesn't matter, then retire.